गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट डिरेक्टिव ऑफ एंगुलर जेस दैट इज एन जी क्लिक सो दिस क्लिक क्लिक मीन्स इट विल वर्क लाइक अ क्लिक इवेंट और क्लिक बटन यू नो द बटन क्लिक सबमिट बटन सो सेम टाइप ऑफ बटन वी कैन क्रिएट हियर यूजिंग एन जी क्लिक डिरेक्टिव सो एन जी क्लिक डिरेक्टिव अलाउज अस टू स्पेसिफाई कस्टम बिहेवियर वेन एन इलेमेंट इज क्लिक वेन यू क्लिक ऑन पर्टिक्युलर इलेमेंट what is going to perform that logic you will write under that click event so when you will click that particular thing will happen angular will evaluate the expression inside the ng click for us and bind the relevant uh, relevant listeners so when you will click that time ng click uh, will bind that particular thing with the listener who is going to listen that particular event or click event this is the syntax here uh, given one example input tag is there type is equal to text here ng model one name is given here main dot message that is given to the ng model name a tag href is equal to ng click this is a directive ng click is equal to main dot show message in bracket main dot message so this name and this name is same because we are using ng model plus ng click so this is just syntax we will see the example how it is going to work can you see this is it visible ma'am can you just enlarge it so i will take it in notepad this is common html common html elements then script tag for angular js library after that body tag in body tag ng app this is the root element is equal to my app my app is the name for root application your angular js application then div tag is there in this div tag ng controller is taken ng controller who is going to control all the logic of your angular js application so ng controller name is my controller this controller name and this controller name should be same inside this p tag is taken click the button to run the application we have to uh, implement ng click event or ng click directive that's why this thing is written click the button to run the application button tag is taken then ng click my function so when you will click on this my function will going to execute so my function is here whatever logic you have written here inside that part that will be executed so here button ng click is equal to my function okay so button name is okay when you will click on this this particular logic is going to implement next p tag the button has been clicked how many time we have click that button that count is going to show here one time two time three time that is going to incremented here then go to next script tag there is a module create a module first module name is my app and here is a blank bracket means first time we are going to create this module dot controller here is a controller name then scope is the object which is uh, which is used to access the variables and functions then in function also we have given scope parameter this parameter is passed here inside the function we have created one variable count scope dot count is equal to 0 that is initialized to 0 then created one function my function m y f u n c this is the function name scope dot my function is equal to this is a keyword so you can you can see that this is a function we have created and this is the way we can create the function first we have to give the name my function no brackets are here is equal to function and at last we have to give the brackets so it will it will tell to the compiler that this is the function then inside this function what logic is written scope dot count plus plus initially count is initialized to 
the, when you will click here on this button that time this function will execute and it will increment the value of count 1 2 3 4 so how many times you will click that that number will be display here inside this brackets this is angular expression so end of script end of body and end of html you can save this program ng click dot html this is a p tag click the button to run the function this one then this button is going to appear here button ng click my function okay okay is the name of the button then when you will click on this okay that time this function is going to call my function So click initially it is zero times because we have initialized this count is equal to zero. Click on this one time. The button has been clicked one time because we have written code there count plus plus. So how many times you will click that number you will get here. Clear this. Ng click directive. Yes, ma'am. Take a snapshot of this. Done now. This is the output. Now next is ng show or ng hide if you want to show particular element to user you can make it true means ng show will be true if you want to hide that ng hide will be true so using this you can show or hide the element html element from the user using ng show and ng hide are often quite common to use within the angular it's a fantastic way to show and hide data based on scope properties value what is value of scope scope on the basis of that we can hide or show the data to the user the ng show and ng hide directives in angular js are used to show or hide the specific html element if given expression in ng show attributes is true then html element will display otherwise it hide the html element if the given expression in ng hide attribute is true then html element will hide so for ng show if it is true it will show the element otherwise it will hide the element and for ng hide also if it is true then it will hide the element otherwise it will show that element this is the basic syntax we can directly see the example script tag for angular js library then body tag here initially i have not given any name you can write their name also ng app show html element input this is a tag type is equal to checkbox i have taken here checkbox when i will click that checkbox i want to show particular element to the user otherwise i want to hide that elements from the user from the user so in input type is equal to checkbox ng model is equal to my var then another div tag is taken here div ng show this is the directive we have to show the implementation of this directive ng show is equal to my var this ng model name and ng show name should be same because we have to hide the element or show the element to the user so this name should be same then inside this head tag welcome to pune college is written then this is an example of ng show 
means when uh, you are going to display element this content you are going to show to the user means this div tag will be shown to the user when you will uncheck that checkbox it will be hide from the user so ng show and ng hide will be work like this check the implementation wait initially here is nothing when i will click here it will show welcome to pune college this is an example of ng show so you can hide the element you can show the element so this is the directive which is used to show or hide the element from user clear yes ma'am take a snapshot then ma'am ng if you know working of if if particular condition is true then execute particular expression otherwise it will skip that part so it will work like that only the ng if directive removes or recreates a portion of dom tree based on an expression if it is true it will show something to the user otherwise it will remove that part if the expression assigned to ng if evaluates to false value then the element is removed from the dom otherwise a clone of the element is reinserted into the dom example body tag here uh, inside this label click me is written inside this click me input tag and type is checkbox so checkbox is taken here ng model name is check and ng init initialize this check box is initialized to checked means already it is true then label is uh, completed here after that show when check whenever this check box is checked then what we have to show that part is written here span ng if is equal to check if it is checked means if it is true then it will show this part otherwise it will not show this part this is removed when check box is unchecked this uh, normal sentence is written here if you will uncheck that check box then this part this content will be removed from the page this is first text label click me inside this label one check box is taken type is equal to check box that check box is appeared here what we have written there what we have done there check is equal to true means by default we have selected this check this then show when checked when this check box is checked what we have to show that contents are here show when checked this is normal text then this is a span part if this check box is checked then and then only it is going to show if part if that is true then display something so what we have to show that is written here this normal text is written this is removed when check box is unchecked so click this this part is gone so if this is true then you will show some content otherwise it will not work clear 
if yes ma'am take a snapshot done ma'am so you have to combine all this part and create form afterward huh? so one one things are one one directives are i am taking for this is if ng hide then model app different directives are there using that directive we have to uh, create one form afterwards to so take a snapshot of each and everything ng switch switch case you know same type of uh, working will be here using this directive ng switch it is a typical same as a switch case but in the dom means here we are going to switch the elements using element we are going to uh, apply the conditions it provide angular js multiple chunk of html for it to swap in and out based on a single scope value what is the value of scope on the basis of that we are going to uh, we are going to uh, swap in and swap out the multiple elements of html first check here I, then i will show the implementation this is a script tag normal script tag then body ng app select the city in that select the city i have taken select tag select tag ng model name is my vac this name we have to use everywhere so this is important part ng model is equal to my vac inside this select options are city's name so first option value is equal to pune so that will be display under this select tag then second option is value is equal to mumbai nagpur kolhapur here is the end of select tag then hr tag i have taken second division ng switch this is the main directive ng switch here i am going to show the implementation of ng switch this name and your model name should be same so it will work on this particular select case ng switch is equal to my var after that uh, one more div tag div ng switch when when particular city is pune then what we have to write when ng switch is pune then what we have to write you have selected pune city same thing is written for all the cities div ng switch when is equal to mumbai so this is also one more directive like ng switch this is a under uh, under ng switch you will get this directive ng switch when so for all the cities i have written same code ng switch when mumbai ng switch when nagpur and this is for kolhapur which city you will select that text will be display so same time in if we have executed that part once here in using select case we can we can execute the dom part multiple times what what portion you will select on the basis of that you will see the output so here this is the end of this div tag then uh, this is the default case if you have not selected or uh, you yeah, these cities are not work then what we have to show to the user then this is the text that you can show to the user or you can write any anything else so hello is written when ng switch is default out of this if you are written something else then this will be the output hello then this is a select any city please normal text is given under that check uh, this select tag div tag end this is the body tag end this is the select the city static text it is not going to change at run time then 
this select tag this is uh, all the contents of this select tag are shown under this city's name pune mumbai nagpur kolhapur so all are mentioned here same things are going to show here using these options what is the name of ng model my var that we are going to check here this is a div tag ng switch my var name is same div ng switch when pune so select pune you selected pune city so this will work same mumbai city nagpur or initially it was hello means this is the default case i have not selected any city that time it will show this content when i will select that time that particular thing will be executed but initially i have not selected anything so default thing will be display that is hello and this one is a normal text select any city please clear switch ng switch directive yes ma'am a snapshot done yes ma'am same is here mentioned initially default value is this then you will select the city particular city then it will show particular output then ng bind next directory ng bind ng bind directory in angular js is used to bind or replace the text content of any particular html element with the value that is entered in the given expression so what value we are going to enter in the expression that value is going to replace here with the bind or uh, that particular element html element the value of specified html content updates whenever the value of expression changes in ng bind directive the ng bind directive binds the model property declared via scope or ng model directive or result of an expression to the html element so here for using this ng bind we have two important things scope and ng model so using this we are going to update the things whatever things you are going to update here that is going to reflect here and whenever you are going to change something here you have, you can do change here also that change is going to reflect here also it also update an element if the value of an expression changes body tag ng app app this is controller name label enter data input type is equal to text ng model this name we have to use inside this also here so this is the model name name label is end here then binded data here we are using this ng bind directive this name also same like your ng model name this is name here ng bind name So we are binding this particular tag with this model. So what changes we are going to implement here? Automatically, that is going to reflect on this model HTML part. So inside this Angular model, here we are going to implement the logic. This is first application because blank brackets are here. Then controller, controller name. Same name is taken here also. scope function scope this object using this object we have created one variable name is equal to abc so we have initialized that variable also with the with some value that is abc so when i will write here my name automatically that data is going to display here in this span so we can see this 
एनजी बाइंड so initially we have uh, written abc inside this variable name that is immediately reflected here where is this control outside your controller this is your controller part logic part and here is your type is equal to text box this is your text box so how it is going to correlate because of this name ng model is equal to name this name and here we are using the same name so what changes you will do here that is going to reflect into this uh, text box plus means both way changes are going to show means if i will change something into this text box that is going to show here plus if you will change here And refresh it. That is going to reflect here. It's two ways we can do the changes. Clear? Ng bind. Yes, ma'am. Take snapshot. Done, ma'am. ng read only read only means that particular contents are going means user cannot edit that content only read only things are there the angular js read only directive sets the read only attribute on the element if it gets uh, that expression inside ng read only is true if this is true then we cannot change that content at run time it is only applied to the input element with specific types so whatever uh, uh what we can so controls are there inside this input on that element we can apply this read only part it is supported by input tag text area elements here you can check input type is equal to check box ng model all name of ng model is equal to all then input type is equal to text ng read only all so here this name and this name is same after clicking on check box the input field will be disabled for writing we cannot write anything because this is a text box we can write but we have mention here ng read only so we cannot edit this text box at run time and when this will happen when you will click on check box So this is initial look body tag here click here to make the input field read only here we can write now but when you will click on this check box that time it will become read only so that thing is mentioned here click here to make the input field read only then input type is equal to check box this check box is mentioned here after that input type is equal to text this is a text box here ng read only property this property name and ng model name should be same to implement this ng read only directive after that 
when after clicking on checkbox the input field will be disabled for writing so here click on this i cannot type here selection part is also not there can you see this yes i cannot, I cannot delete also this thing because this becomes read only now uncheck it now you can see the click i can type this is a read only directive implementation of read only directive take a snapshot done ma'am we will stop here for angular js this is the output this part we will see tomorrow ng disable controller okay one part is remaining only so we will cover that now only only one thing one directive is remaining ng disable other things are different now controller is different and expression will be different so we will complete this part also ng disable what is use of ng disable the ng disable directive in angular js is used to enable or disable html element whether we can interact with that element or not that part is going to decide by using this directive if the expression inside the ng disable attribute returns true then the form field will be disabled or vice versa so depend on the that particular element whether we can interact with the element or not that will be decide so it is usually applied on the field input select and button these are three main are given input select and button here inside this body tag click here to disable all the form field if you want to disable it means you can see that but you cannot work with the work with that element like read only only so here first is input type is equal to checkbox model name is all then next is text box here also Uh, model name uh, for example disable is equal to all means model name and this name should be same then next text uh, input tag is uh, type is equal to radio and disable is equal to all and one select tag is uh, select uh, tag is taken that name is also disable name is also all so when you will check on this check box that time you cannot work on these elements means vice versa uncheck you can work check you cannot work so you can see this implementation ng disable so initially static things are there click here to dis disable all the form fields then this is a check box initially it is unchecked then input type is equal to text box so here now we can work with this element we can interact we can inter work means we can interact with this element then radio button is here in between and after that select tag male female options are there now i will check here check this check box all these are disable we cannot click here we cannot work with this control we cannot interact with this control so it is disabled in read only uh, that text box is not like this not blurred it we cannot work with this but it is look like a normal things but here completely disable you can you can see that you cannot work with this element so that part we can means uh, we can handle all this part using one check box whether we have to work with this or not that will be decided here in form we can use this if you have selected particular thing remaining thing you don't need to complete that time you can apply this check box there
clear yes ma'am take a snapshot done ma'am this is a different part we have seen all these directives ng disabled read only bind ng bind ng switch if show hide click model repeat init and app so these are the common built in angular js directives try all these practically okay yes ma'am in 2 minutes we will start ds yes. 